Oh yeah. Hey folks, welcome back to the garage. We're gonna be taking a bit of a break from working on the engine. I do have a lot more to do here. Remember, I mentioned that I didn't put all these like, all the bolts for the, the headers in. I don't know if I mentioned that actually. And the um, motor mounts aren't completely bolted down yet. You see this one's actually laying on there, but there's a lot of room here to push this up. Uh, I'm leaving this all very loose for the moment uh, on purpose because uh, I have to be able to fit the starter in there and I can't put the starter in until I get the, the new bell housing. And I can't put the new bell housing in until I get the new flywheel. So I'm not gonna rush for a start. Uh, I am gonna buy, uh, actually I did just purchase the PCM kit. Uh, that was very expensive, but so is the bell housing. It's been over 20 years since this thing had an engine in it to begin with. What's another couple more months or something? I do want to get it started by September. Oh, that's next month. We'll see though. A lot of parts to buy in the meantime. For today, uh, I'm gonna try to, I don't necessarily need to put this one on the ground, but it does have to go for an inspection soon. So I might just put this Mustang down and I might put this one up on ramps maybe. Yeah, if I put it on ramps, then I'll be able to fit this in if I need to. Uh, it did leak again. Hopefully we don't have to take this out again, but I am leaving this all hooked up like this just in case I do. Put it up on ramps, take a look underneath, see if I could fit the starter in without bolting it in. I need to fill up the braking system and ch check that for leaks. Uh, I did buy the PCM uh, bracket that goes over here with the uh, with the computer in. Let's figure out something to do today. I don't know. Let's get started. Now this thing is supposed to be 16 quarts, right? I emptied the O3 Mustang, which was six quarts, and this was eight quarts. Or is this 10 quarts? Oh God. I f***ed up. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe we can soak some of it up so I can get just get this in. Oh good. This is gonna be a mess. Oil pan looks good though. Yeah, it's a lot harder to turn the wheels now that the engine is on, on top of them. jack stands. Now, I know I said I wouldn't do anything with the, uh, the engine today, but I don't think this is the right thing. Alright, so I bought the wrong size plug for this. What is this supposed to be? It's actually a little bit more room than I thought there would be. Alright, let's put a pin in this. This ain't happening. I do have this to install. Don't look. Which is a saw. Uh, there we go. Nine sixteenths. Cool. Let's do this. All right. I'm just going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on this. Just to keep it from potentially coming out of the block. Okay. All right. So now I should be able to put a uh, an oil filter on here. I just wanted to point one thing out, and that's the um, the engine's from a 2017 Mustang. 35,000 miles on it. So going by the usual average of 10,000 miles a year, this engine may have sat for about four years in the, uh, in the yard, which accounts for the, uh, the oxidation that's on here. Uh, I'm gonna brush as much of it off as possible, at least on the front, and likely do something about this, because this is, you know how I feel about rust. But I'm really not that, uh, not that 
unhappy with how this looks. Just want to show how this PCM bracket goes. It's going to connect here with this hole at the bottom. Drill another hole up here at the top. And then the PCM kind of cradles in here. There's a little rubber piece that goes right there. And I guess it bolts directly to that. All right, so we couldn't quite do this one. Also, I'm just kind of broken down like first fire. Um, just to go over this really quickly, before we can get engine oil into it, we need the oil pan plug for that side thing. Uh, the oil filter adapter, that's good. Needs an oil filter too. I, I, I did buy one. Uh, yeah, so oil filter, plug this, and then we can put oil in it. Great, wonderful. Just this is to like tighten the motor mount bolts, exhaust bolts, of course. I think bell housing and starter flywheel are my next. Oh, of course, I'm gonna get that oil pan plug. Once I get these three in place, it would be good to have the clutch and the transmission, to be honest. So that's what I'm wrestling with right now. Do I go ahead and just buy the rest of the drivetrain and plug it in so I can just fire this thing up without having to worry, like get everything aligned and, and in place. I could start it without doing that. I mean, we're talking the difference between like $5,000 at that point. Cool, yeah, so I'm probably not gonna do that. Um, all right, so I kind of lied. I have been working on the engine today. Um, but I wanted to take a quick look at something I have here. These are, this is the, the swap kit for doing, okay, so this is an adapter, goes in here to downsize the regular. I think these are bolts for the air conditioning. Okay, so this, I'm assuming, goes to the lower, and this to the upper, like that. So I did not replace the T, but I think that's fine. These are hoses for, I think this one goes here, and then this one, I'll have to figure it out, but one goes to the heater core. I mean, they both go to the heater core. One feed and one return. I don't know, we'll have to look that up and see. This one might go like that. And then this one comes across like that. Either way, I think this is heater core. And this is the oil filter I bought. It's a Wix. Oh, also I should mention this, because uh, I don't know the state of the um, thermostat. I bought, I bought a new thermostat for this just in case, with a new O-ring. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this or not. I might hold off on this for a bit. I would like to clean this thing out, but I also don't want to submerse it. I'm kind of feeling like I should wait and then just hose this thing down with some brake clean instead. But I do want to just see if it'll, if I can squeeze it up into the, uh, into the car. These are starter bolts. Almost lost in it. Well, the good news is the starter fits into this little nook here. All right, so it does like fit into this area. I just need to figure out how it lines up. The bell housing goes on, and I think this bolts mostly to the bell housing. All right, so there was a break in the weather, and I did spray it with some brake clean. It looks like it did clean up a lot of this crap. I'm still gonna have to like really Bit. But it's a little nicer to handle. This entire room now smells like, what does it smell like? It smells like a dry cleaner. <coughs> Man. <clears throat> cool. It's a little bit better, but we're gonna we're gonna do better. We always strive to do better. We want to be better people. I am gonna leave that there for now because the fumes are 
getting a little bit rough. Uh, I'm gonna get a brush to finish this up, like a stiff wire brush, and just try to hit it by hand. Uh, cool, so we'll come back to that. All right, it is now a couple weeks after I last filmed. I got hopefully the right plug for in here. We're gonna try that today. And just gonna try to stick the alternator on here. I think I got the right size bolt for the alternator to go here, um, but we'll have to check. So let's get started. All right, so <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I think these are the, these are they. Cool. I've also come down here a bit and tried to clean some of these things up. I'm probably going to uh, keep moving like this. I don't really care what these things look like as long as they work. For now, uh, I do want to come back and clean these up before they stay in the car. I get some of this crap off of it. But yeah, so that is what it is. Let's see if these are the right bolts. Cross your fingers because I've tried a couple different things at this point. These are M10s. That seems to fit. Cool, so these thread all the way through. Perfect, this is what I need. The only problem is, obviously, this is too long. So we're gonna have to trim this down to size. And that's why I bought this. These are those things that you see on Instagram where you can uh, shave down the, is there it's supposed to be carbide in here? Oh, this isn't gonna do anything. Oh, jeez, I bought the wrong one. All right, we'll try it. What do we have to lose, right? You all know that I have any number of tools to cut this with, but. For some reason, <clears throat> I want to test this with this. There we go, a little bit long. Okay, now the reason why I did it that way was because, well A, I don't want to shoot sparks all over here, light something on fire, and B, I wanted to try out that stupid thing I got. See if it works. So you can see it's got a very jagged cut. And let's see what happens. <coughs> oh god, that stinks. <coughs> Alright, it's actually somewhat working. All right, if you're gonna get one of these, make sure you get one with like the carbide in it because like this is, I think it's doing more damage to this thing than it is the, uh, the thingy here. You know what, I'm gonna go a little bit further. There's still a burr. I think this thing's gonna get a bad review. really hot oh Jesus okay it smells like burning flesh now let's let that cool off a little bit Ooh, that's hot mmm burnt coffee all right so it's still if it's cooled down shrunk a little bit still not like screwing on great so I'm willing to admit that I probably went too fast with it, but lucky I bought four, right? The one thing it needs to do is to not flatten out these threads like this. <laughs> I'm also willing to admit that this might be the wrong type of bolt for this. Everyone's always like, 
Hey Sleazy, why aren't you done with your project car yet? It's because I'm spending three hours to fix one bolt. All right, so this was kind of a fail. I can't really get it to, uh, to thread in. So the next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna try this old trick. We're gonna try to, we're gonna cut it here and then back this off so that it fixes the threads. All right, after this, we're gonna back this off and then we'll uh, see if it threads back on, but I might just hit it really quickly on there, old school style. out different okay that's probably gonna need a minute to cool off I see there's a little bit of crap on here I'm telling you right now that won't come off over that so the next thing we're gonna do is just try to really lightly zizz this off on here okay. see now that looks way better let's see how it works all right Let's see. Well, this should ideally cut the threads we needed to cut. Hell yeah. All right. So going forward, I'm gonna stick with this, this direction. And let's just make sure that this works as we expect it to. We're good there. What do you think? Let's uh, make sure this nut fits on the other side. And we'll put this in the car. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. Stunning. All right, put our alternator in. Make sure this. That's not gonna come off. There we go. At some point, we're gonna clean all this stuff up, I promise. For now, after I get this thing started, there might be a little bit of time before I get the uh, transmission put in. We might be looking at um, some resto stuff over the, uh, over the winter. Oh, you all know how I like to paint in the winter. In the hole. There we go. We might take some of the stuff apart and clean it up. Or even possibly replace it. Like I might replace this with like the boss alternator. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to check to see if I bought the right belt. Also one other thing about the belts is that the, um, the AC compressor goes over here on this side of the engine. There's a belt that goes into the back part of here but it's a stretch belt and I did just buy the stretch belt tool but I'm not gonna put the AC in yet because like I said I might be taking this all apart like this. Huh. Yeah, I have to look up the, uh, the belt routing and maybe this goes like this. And then this might have legs. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of spitballing here. To be honest, this seems like a very tight. <laughs> uh, all right. What do we think here? Does this look okay? 
think this might be okay. Yeah, I think that might be it. Man, that's tight. <laughs> All right. I guess we could leave that for now then. I have in good authority that this should be the bolt, the plug that I need for the, uh, the side of the oil pan. So let us try that. All right, let's try this. Let's see if this fits. Please fit, please fit. Oh, it fits, perfect. Perfect, it's got a little gasket. Uh, do I wanna use the gasket? I guess I do. I don't think we need to go crazy on that. So I am going to put, just want to clean this up a little bit. Make sure there's nothing really funky on there. Okay, got a Wix filter on there. We should be good to pour oil in here now, I think. Uh, I do want to try to tighten that motor mount bolt a little bit more. You see how I slide this in? Very demure, very mindful. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Sweet. You probably can't see all the shit that I just installed today. But it's going. Okay. I'm going to leave that like that. Just in case we gotta loosen those a little bit to, uh, to move stuff around. The next thing we really need to do though, is get these headers fully engaged. So I think for today, the last thing I'm gonna do is uh, just take off the motor lift plate. Cause we don't need this anymore, right? We're done here. Jesus. Okay, that's one. Ouch. Come on, there's gotta be a better way than this. This is even worse. You know what? The clown shoe to the rescue, right? Right? Hell yeah. Immediate follow-up steps here are to put this back here, like this. I am holding off from installing this down in here because the new computer kit has some stuff that's gonna probably have to route up into here. Um, particularly, particularly the part where it goes to the accelerator pedal. So, I am going to cut this and just put this back in place for now. Not hold up very well. In the rigors of the garage here. Oh dang it! Oh dang it! These don't have to be super tight. They do have to be somewhat tight. stick that in place for now even though I said I wasn't going to it's not fully seated okay cool a couple more little things I need to do headers have to get bolted on steering shaft has to get snaked snuck snaked snaked in there this side just have to massage things to fit get the belt on for now I will have to come back and clean all this up I, I hit it a little bit with some of the uh, I'm gonna do something don't worry just not yet I want to get it started first and make sure everything's good and then well, let's go over here oil filter oil pan plug 
Bell housing starter, clutch flywheel. We don't need the clutch and the flywheel. We do need these two. We need grounds. We need exhaust bolts. I noticed I didn't have the alternator and water pump hooked up to here, but that's okay. I just wanted to do a test fit of the intake. Let's pop these out. Plenty of room in the back there. Yeah, very nice. Good we looking. That yeah, looks really at home. A couple of things that can still really throw us off here. If I throw oil in here and it leaks, that's a major problem. There's a torque sequence to putting this back on too. You don't know it offhand, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Ooh, you know what I wanna try real quick? Oh, it's gonna look nice. It's starting to come together in my mind here, in my mind's eye. Let's save you for later. I guess next video, I'll start off with putting the oil in, fork this down, we'll get the fuel line set up and start looking into the cooling system, I guess. Uh, maybe we'll do some grounds too. All right, that's gonna wrap this one up. Just getting it closer to uh, first fire. Yeah, so we're gonna try to get as close as we can, fire it up probably within the next few weeks. Uh, I did buy the PCM and the bell housing. So we should be able to plug what we need to plug in. It's gonna be a lot of wiring coming up. And then after that, once, once we have a confirmed first fire, then I am going to start, there's, there's a bunch of other resto things that I need to do in the meantime. Maybe finish up the doors, I'm not sure. Cool, but we're just gonna keep going. I'm super excited and uh, happy to have you along for the ride. If you like this video, drop me a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna keep up on this project, subscribe. Always remember to build responsibly. Thanks for watching once again, and I will see you next time. You doing this? Oh my god. <laughs> you fun to me lobster, <sighs> Oh, I got a hot breath. Nice straw color, too. Well, it's fun. I've got to get back to these doors too. Oh, we don't need doors, right? Weight savings. <laughs>